Okay, we are here with uh, Jake Martinez. Uh, this is a, my, my name is Dr. Mark Otten. I'm a professor here at CSUN, if you didn't already know. Um, this video is dedicated to two things. One is, um, uh, as part of a sports psychology class, trying to find time for exercise. Um, and number two, uh, since Jake is a busy man, just sort of general inspiration for how to get through the CSUN psychology major when you're working three jobs as Jake is doing. Um, so we're showing you Jake's calendar here, and I'm going to ask him some questions about how he does it. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Jake is also a senior. He's about to graduate. This is fall 2018, so you have about two or three more weeks in your yeah. career, and then two you, will two be, weeks. you will be done. So uh, quite a reward for him. Okay, so th we're showing you a sample week in his life. Um, he has school there, uh, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., basically, uh, Monday and Wednesday, right? Yeah. Uh, and that includes class. Yeah. And just being at school to study. Yeah. Mostly class. class. Mostly class. Mostly eight, class. Eight to two is back to the back class. Uh, not back to back class, but I have classes and then I take some time for my online class and then I go to my next class, which starts like at 12.30. Got it. Okay, so so Jake's life would be very simple if, if that was all he had, Monday, Wednesday. Um, uh, some other semesters you probably had more than two days or longer yeah. days? Than I've had longer days. Longer days. I'd have days where I would come in on Tuesday after work, so, so I'd leave work and then come in like at five and mm -hmm. then have to drive back home. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you live in Palmdale? Palmdale, so he's got a little bit of a commute. How long does it take to? Uh, in the mornings it takes like two hours or like an hour and a half, depending on the day, and then going home, I usually leave around 10, so it's traffic dies down, so I'll say like, 30 to 50 minutes to get home. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. We, we really need to build a tunnel or something yeah. between the Antelope Valley and CSUN. Anyway, a lot of you guys may be watching this have your own commute, um, and so uh, you're facing similar challenges there. The other thing, uh, obviously, that you see in Jake's calendar here is work, and he's got work one, work two, and work three. He's working three jobs. Uh, total uh, hours per week is what? What do you think? How many? <laughs> Work one, I work usually 19 hours. Okay. Uh, work two, 14, and then work three around 12 or 12 or 14. Okay, so that, that's 45 to 47 hours per yeah. week, something like that. So that's full time plus a little bit extra. Um, we have work one, work two, work three. The third job there is Friday night and Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon. So. That one that says sometimes because some weeks you're on and yeah. some, some, some weeks I'm on, some weeks I'm off. Right. But either way, it's going to clog up his schedule such that um, finding time to study and succeed uh, in school is going to be difficult, uh, seemingly. But Jake seems to have a pretty like yeah. organized uh, way of, of going about his, his week, and he doesn't seem too stressed out about it. So what's uh, your secret? Of uh, just in the beginning, it was hard. It was like uh, something new. Uh, I have always worked through high school, so having my first job was okay. And then when I got my second job, it kind of got a little hectic. But the third one, when I added the third one, it got a lot more. And like I lost a lot of sleep, but uh, I needed to help uh, my parents be able to like meet, uh, like make ends meet, like, yeah, make ends meet, like pay bills and stuff like that. So uh, I feel like it's worth it because. At the end, like I'm hoping on my family, and then I'm also I'm almost done. I've been pushing it so far, so yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So um, uh, you mentioned sleep. Uh, for me, as an old man professor, I need probably eight hours, seven, eight hours at least per night. Uh, I sort of learned to need that over the years. Uh, but I have friends who can do it with less, and so you mentioned to me earlier that you sleep less than that. Yeah, I sleep less than that, but. Uh, it's, I adapted to it, it was, uh, at first I, I would like wake up late and I was like, be stuck in traffic, maybe get to class a little later, but uh, then I started to adapting to waking up at the time, like at four, just waking up and then getting ready and then get commuting. So I was just like, just adapting to it. So you, you tend to, to wake up at four in the morning? Yeah, four. And then uh, when do you go to bed? Typically, uh, typically around, it was usually when I get home, so like on Monday, Wednesdays, when I get home, I try to sleep at, uh, I get home usually at 11, 
So I try to sleep like exact. When I get there, I brush my teeth, drink like a glass of water. No down, no downtime, basically. No, just drink a glass of water and then just just go to sleep from there. Okay. And then Tuesdays, Thursdays, usually I just I try to sleep a little earlier, like at eight. Uh, if I don't have that much homework, I sleep. I try to sleep at eight. If I do, I push it till ten, and then I sleep at ten. So some of you guys watching this are probably like, oh man, I could never do that, four or five hours a night. But Jake has sort of adapted to it. Um, I think in terms of um, planning, if you're trying to apply this to your own life and you're like me and you need more sleep, then you just make sure that you, you plug that into the calendar. So one of the things we talked about in class is calendars um, and trying to keep one, trying to stay organized so that you're, you don't have to, it sort of adds to your cognitive load to like be like, oh, what do I have today? For Jake, his, his schedule is pretty regular, so that's one thing that kind of yeah. helps, actually. You, you don't, do you keep one of these calendars? Or no? uh, yeah, I, keep, okay. I just keep one just in case. Like, uh, the only thing that changes would be classes, for, like school. So I just change uh, what classes like, uh, do I have, more like where I have to walk to. Yeah. That's it. The work just stays the same, yeah. usually. Maybe, I, maybe like a Tuesday, work three, it calls me in, or a Thursday, they call me in, but... Mm -hmm. That's that's rare. Yeah, it's usually so, towards the weekend. So let's talk about this these these blank sections exactly. on the calendar because those are that's like your gold, right? Like <laughs> your your only time of the week to to do so that. So on Mondays I usually wake up around four and then uh, I have to leave like around. Uh, I wake up at four usually and then I try to do like I usually read for a class before uh, before getting there. So I read articles. So I read. Uh, something that my online professor left for us to read and then around six is when I start heading out to uh Cal State Northridge and I usually get here like at seven fifty, seven forty five. So like right on the dial where I have to like book it to to get to class on time, which is at eight. And then then my on Monday at two to three, I usually I usually ask for for my second job I usually ask them if I could have like a little break before I go to work and they usually give it to me either Monday or Wednesday uh, I call that my burrito time <laughs> yeah I, I like we all need our burrito time yeah. I like my yeah. so I need my burrito time so <laughs> so it doesn't always consist of burritos it just consists of uh, just relaxing uh, eating eating food I just call it that because those are those are time where a month I ate a burrito like, <laughs> for that time so every single called, Monday yeah, so I just call it my burrito time. So just, I just take those breaks. And on, on Tuesday, usually when I get home, I try not to do homework. I just try to sleep. And then Tuesday, I usually wake up the same time at 4, and I have work at 6. Let me, let, me, uh, let me ask you about getting up at 4. Like, you know, for me, if I went to bed at like 11 or 11.30, let's say, try to get up at 4, it would just take a lot of discipline and take a lot of effort. Yeah. For you, you say you say you've sort of adapted to that. Yeah. But it's dark outside. Like it's hard to like. You feel like nobody else is up at that time. What, yeah. what, what do you What do you feel like? Uh, usually when I wake up, I'm like uh, just. My parents are still asleep, except for my dad, because usually leaves around four, so he wakes up earlier than I do. So, uh, so I see that. I kind of got that uh, motivation from him, like because he has to work. He gets home late, like at around eight. And like you, he goes. He has animals, so he goes feeds them around like eight and like nine. And he comes back. He relaxes for a little bit, and then he goes to sleep around the same time I go to sleep. But he wakes up always like around two, or three. Wow. Okay. So and then goes to work at four. So I got that motivation from him. So like, four a.m. is like sleeping in for him. Yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, but for me, it's like uh, I feel like I could do more work because it's just me. Me awake, my dad's awake, just doing his stuff, like just getting ready, and then he leaves, and then when I'm awake at four, my brother's not awake, so he's not blasting music or like yelling on the PlayStation, <laughs> uh, yelling at his friends. So it was like, <laughs> which is most cases on the weekends, but <laughs> okay. but he's uh, he's more like just more quiet and more like peaceful, and like I could actually get some work done like uh, quicker than I would if I would do it like in a busy room sure. with a bunch of people. Yeah, so I mean, if you're trying to do this and you're like, I can't do 4 a.m., but let's try 6 a.m. or something like that, it does take a little bit of routine, I think, you know, to get used to it, but it also takes some form of social support, I think. And in this case, for Jake, uh, his family, his dad is up early, 
so you know that you might ask your friend or your whoever you live with basically if it's your family or your roommate to support you on this in some yeah. way um, and that might be really really the key to being able to actually do it um, what about those gaps on like Tuesday after 3 p.m. and uh, Thursday just after, after 3, 3 I usually take like an hour break for myself and then I start doing work for my online class which uh, always has stuff to do uh, there's some online classes I had in the past that really put stuff out but uh, this semester I had uh, my teacher or my professor she's been putting out stuff and it's been really fun uh, learning about uh, just usability tests and stuff like that so I try to I try to keep up with like assignments uh, lectures slides that she puts out during that time so that's usually my homework time I usually do homework time between that and then in between like dinner and like Snacks. Do you stay on campus or do you? Uh, no, I, because I work where I work. I live is is where I work at, at home. I saw so Pondo, so, so you're already there. So I'm already there. So I, then I just drive home, relax for like an hour, and start homework. Okay. What about um, Saturday and Sunday? Uh, Saturday and Sundays, I usually take the mornings. So I usually my uh, I try to sleep in a little more on okay. Saturday, Sunday. So like four thirty, like. <laughs> no, not for thirty. Like around, like I try to wake up like around six. So I try to, uh, I try to sleep in a little more, so like till six or like seven. Okay. But sometimes I end up waking up like around four still or five. Yeah. I try to force myself to sleep a little more. But usually between that time when I wake up in the morning, and I like brush my teeth, eat, drink, drink water, I usually just do my homework and then I go to work. Okay. Usually. Okay. Sometimes it changes. Sometimes I have work in the morning. I don't have anything in the afternoon, so I have to wake up early. Or sometimes I, I don't have work at all, so I try to sleep in and then do work, and then maybe go hang out with some friends or some family time. Okay, so that's the first time I've heard the whole time here about something non-school or work-related. Yeah. <laughs> it's family or friends time. So you do yeah. sometimes get a little bit. Yeah, of sometimes I do get uh, friends, friend, family time. Uh, at my work three, I work at a for the city of Pondo, so sometimes I see them. Sometimes my friend come to events just to see me, and, like talk to me for a little bit. Then they can't stay, they can't talk to me so long, or I'll get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm getting also from this is that you do enjoy the school work a little bit at times, at least, and you do enjoy the work yeah. at least sometimes, right? So yeah. that helps. If you're, if you're, you know, you're not in the right major or something like that, you don't enjoy your work. Uh, or your school work, and yeah. then you're, or you're working a job that you don't want to be at, that makes it a little bit harder, I think. Yeah. So you're lucky enough to have a situation that's not too terrible. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. The, my jobs are, like, I really like them. Like, for my work one, I help kids. I help them push towards, uh, like, trying to push them towards, because uh, I, work, I work for a program called AVID, and it helps them try to push them towards college goals and stuff like that. And it's really cool seeing, pushing these kids, like, uh, trying to do higher level thinking, critical like learning skills, teaching them how to uh, do like study study skills that you should do in college, like earlier on. And that's that's the topic of this video. It's yeah. Like, some, some one way. Yeah. And then work too is I work out of photo lab. Same thing. It's just helping uh, helping kids try to figure out what they're what they should improve on. Like make make the it, sometimes people say it's stressful, but it's more enjoyable if you take your time and just like. Yeah. Make sure you have everything planned out and not just do everything in a rush. And then my work three for the city is uh, just more understanding uh, people and how like the city is like important to like the community and like how the community really like should be able to uh, go to these events and like interact with each other. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. And then your friends and family can stop by, but not for too long. Not for too long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I mean that just brings me to the the sports psychology topic that we talk about in class, which is um, finding time for exercise. So yeah. I talked to Jake a little bit about this. He, uh, you're active at your at least the third job, right? Third you, job, you move around. Yeah. Third job, I'm more active. It's more like uh, all those like uh, special events I do. There's a lot of physical labor into it. You have to put up uh, dory poles, which has like these poles that hold these flags. Uh, you have to like put in spikes, you have to lift, uh, you have to move carts, you have to move stages, you have to uh, 
uh, make sh move equipment that uh, these people, uh, these people, these crews have that they brought a limited amount of people because they thought we would help them, so they forced us to help them. <laughs> or uh, walking around, running around, making sure that bathrooms are clean. Uh, running around to the break room, making sure that everyone's on their break, everyone's taking a chance to relax, so they don't like uh, or like get too exhausted. Uh, those uh, incident where someone wasn't like making sure people were taking their breaks, and uh, there was a girl who almost fainted. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it was, it was important that we were making sure that everyone's just like running, running, making even though it's just like seems pointless to like run around to make sure someone's taking their break. It's just yeah. it's important to like actually make them sit down, drink water, yeah, yeah, yeah. and not just like just stand around and just hang out with friends. Like, yeah. yeah. So I mean, we see the the benefits of exercise. Um, in the literature, we see that if you exercise, let's say, 20 to 30 minutes, yeah. moderate exercise, right before you do something, let's say take a test or um, even just study, um, that you, you see some cognitive benefits. Your um, brain kind of works more quickly, and, and sometimes you um, have a little bit more energy, um, and you also feel better. Your mood improves a lot of times. So so one of the, the things we talk about is how to work exercise into your life so that you can feel these benefits. But then we're talking about a busy life like this, so it helps when your workplace yeah. provides some of that. Yeah, um, I would think on a day maybe when you're, you know, doing your one of your other jobs where you're not yeah. phys physically moving around as much. Maybe at that point, like either right before or right after your burrito time or something like that, it might be useful to mm -hmm. to do twenty minutes of, of exercise. But at the same time, you know, if you get some of that on the yeah. weekends. Um, you know, you don't necessarily need it every day. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't really have like a, a solid recommendation right. for you on that. On uh, on Friday, sometimes after when I don't have work on Fridays after my 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 uh, job one, I usually go uh, take out my camera. I usually walk around Pondo, so I was okay. gonna take like a good two three hours just walking around okay. there, just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Just just like getting more mental break. Yeah. Yeah. mental break and also a little bit of physical activity yeah yeah okay well I'm gonna wrap the video this has been a, a journey through Jake's life uh, his busy life and hopefully you guys uh, uh, took something out of it um, in terms of uh, you know hey I you guys are busy he's busy I'm not trying to compare anybody to anybody else but if he can do it then maybe you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see something that that sparks uh, some um, like a, a way of thinking like, oh, I can keep a calendar or, oh, I can reorganize this way or if he can do it, then maybe I can do it and and, and hopefully you get a little bit of downtime with your family and yeah. friends somewhere in there so you can at some point during the week relax and that that actually is available to you even if you're working three jobs and you've got school and you're trying to graduate and be successful and all these things. So anyway, thank you to Jake. And uh, I will not show you my calendar because, well, I'm busy too, but, you know, that's a topic for another day. So, yeah. all right. Thank you, sir. Thank you.